So today I'll be talking about my experience with two of the skincare products from The Ordinary. The 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil and the Lactic Acid 5% with Hyaluronic Acid. This is part three of my Ordinary Review series. If you've missed part one and two, I will link them in the description box below if you'd like to check those out also. If you're enjoying this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss anything. If you want to know my thoughts on the 100% organic cold press rosehip seed oil and lactic acid 5% from The Ordinary, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So the first product I'm going to mention is the 100% organic cold press rosehip seed oil. It retails for $9.90 and you get one fluid ounce of product. So rosehip seed oil is a natural form of vitamin A and is extremely beneficial for the skin. Rosehip seed oil is rich in omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids as well as pro-vitamin A, which enables it to target signs of photoaging and several other skin conditions. So the consistency of this oil is very thin. I'll just show you. And what I loved most about this is I found it absorbed into my skin quickly and didn't leave me feeling overly greasy. Because this is cold pressed, there is no heat used to extract the oil, so all antioxidants are preserved. These essential fatty acids are known to correct dark spots and hydrate dry, itchy skin, all the while reducing scars and fine lines. So this product helps to protect the skin and increase cell turnover because it contains vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin B carotene, which is a form of vitamin A and which are all antioxidants that help fight free radicals. So if you're new to my channel, I'm 43 years old and I have extremely dry skin especially this time of year. I live in Canada, it's cold, and the air is dry. So I always include products in my skincare routine that are extra hydrating as well as have anti-aging properties. So this has been a really beautiful addition to my skincare routine. I use it at night. I sometimes will pair it with a moisturizer and I sometimes will just wear it on its own. It really depends on how dry my skin is. So I have been using this regularly at night for the past three months and I have noticed a definite improvement in my skin's hydration, especially along the areas of my chin and along my forehead where I'm prone to dry patches. So the next product I'm gonna talk about is the lactic acid 5% with hyaluronic acid. So lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that exfoliates the skin. So according to The Ordinary's website, this acid is good for reducing fine lines, improving skin tone and texture and brightening, fading pigmentation, acne scars, and evening out the color of your skin, controlling and preventing oiliness and breakouts. So according to The Ordinary's website, this formulation offers a mild exfoliation that is supported with a purified Tasmanian pepperberry known to reduce signs of inflammation and sensitivity. So this is the 5% version of this product. The Ordinary also offers a 10%, but I thought that might be a little too intense for my skin. So for myself, this product worked out for me. However, I've watched other reviews and it's very hit or miss. Some people claim that it didn't do anything for them and some of them claimed it actually like broke them out. So if you have sensitive skin or you're prone to breakouts easily, this one might be one to avoid. For myself, I didn't have any issues with it. So I only used this twice a week and I only used it on areas where I'm really prone to dry patches that build up so along the top of my forehead and right along the areas of my chin. So how I use this is I always apply it before bed on completely dry skin, let it dry, and then I apply a moisturizer over top. Otherwise, this will dry out my skin. And the next day I follow up with a sunscreen, but I always wear sunscreen anyway because I'm prone to hyperpigmentation on my forehead and on my cheeks but it's always important to wear an SPF the day after you use an alpha hydroxy treatment because your skin will be more sensitive to the sun. So this is my final ordinary review for now, although I might be purchasing some of their other products later on down the road. So I hope I answered any questions you may have about the rosehip seed oil and lactic acid from The Ordinary. If there are any other products from The Ordinary that you would like me to review and talk about, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!